What's up guys, this is Teddy. This video, we are going to be installing Tailwind in our React app. So the first thing that you want to do in order to install Tailwind is you want to go into your terminal and you want to type npm install Tailwind CSS. Also, make sure to have a D right here. We're gonna type in Tailwind CSS just like this. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and install and then we are going to use npx to install Tailwind and actually configure our files for us. Uh, NPX will go and create a config file for you and it will create all this boilerplate so that you don't have to go in and create all these config files. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do and where I will be for the rest of the app pretty much is what you want to do is you want to go into here, you want to go into commits and you want to go into add tailwind and this is going to give you everything that you need in order to actually find all the CSS and do all of the copies, which I'm about to do. So the first thing is I'm going to go down into my Tailwind config, just like this. I'm going to take this, copy this. You could copy that right there if you want to, but I didn't. And I'm just gonna go back and go into my actual Tailwind config. And I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste that in there. Also, next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my index.css right here. I'm just going to copy the same exact thing and I'm going to paste it into the index.css. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just start it very quickly just to see if everything's working. And if I start it, what you will see is our font has changed. Our font is now Poppins. We can now go ahead and start actually working on our JSX. So I think it will probably benefit us if we just go ahead and knock out the navbar and the hero. The navbar and the hero are pretty much going to be just easy copy and paste jobs. So let's just go into our navbar. I'm going to type in navbar.tsx. I'm going to type in navbar.css. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring in a React functional component just like this. So I say T-S-R-A-F-C-E. Bring, make this an interface and what I'm going to do is just take this code from the navbar component inside of github right here and I'm just going to copy and paste from the nav all the way down to here and I'm just going to go ahead and paste it into the navbar just like this okay that looks good now what we need to do is we need to get the logo so I'm going to go ahead and just right click and save image as, and I'm going to put this on my desktop. So I'll just go ahead and put it on my desktop just like this. The next thing that you want to do is you want to actually take the photo that you just saved and you want to put it within your nav bar. So I've actually got it saved as logo.png. You can also get this on GitHub and I will also put this on Facebook in the Facebook group if you want access to it too. So if, uh, we did everything correctly. We should be able to come up here. So we say import logo from dot logo, just like this. And we should have the logo, no problem. And we do, our, our app is loading. So let's go ahead and do the same exact thing with the hero. I'm gonna go back into the GitHub and I'm going to find hero.tsx right here. And I'm just going to copy everything in the section. Also, I'm going to go ahead right here and I'm going to download this onto my desktop as hero.png. So I'm gonna go ahead within the hero file right here. So I'll type in hero.tsx. Then I'll go hero.css. And I will also go ahead and paste in the hero from the desktop as well too. So we'll have that file in there. Next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go into here. I'm gonna go T-S-R-A-F-C-E. Go ahead and make this an interface. Go ahead, get rid of this. And then I'm just gonna go ahead, copy and paste this into here. And we also need to bring in the hero. So I'm gonna go hero from dot hero up here. So go hero dot PNG. And that should be brought in. So let's go ahead instead of our app, so I'm gonna go inside of our app.tsx right here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and bring in the navbar in the hero. So I'm gonna go navbar, and then I'm gonna go hero, and let's just go ahead and test to make sure that these work. So let's go ahead and open it, and as you can see, our app is working correctly. 
I'm going to go ahead and get the hero out of the way. We will add the hero when we actually get the router set up and we will add the hero to the front page. Let's go ahead and let's start working on our card list and let's start working on some of our components. So the best place to start right now is probably within our card list and then we can go ahead and we can work down to other parts of our app. And all the card list entails is just changing the actual result part. So if you go to the card list, all that we need to change is this part right here. You can also add these divs if you want to, but that's kind of optional. So just go into here and copy this. And I'm going to go and paste this into the actual card list right here. Okay, so that's simple enough. Let's go ahead and let's actually start working on the card. So the card is going to be a little bit more in depth. So what you want to do is you want to go to the view file right here and go into the div, go ahead, copy it. Then we're gonna go into the actual card and just go copy and paste right there. Also, I see a couple of extra things. Let's change this to black and let's change these down here to black as well too. So I'll say black and we'll say text black. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's test it. So go into here, go into Apple, and we now have our cards. Next thing that we want to do is start working on these search buttons. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go down to these search buttons. So I'm gonna go over to the search button right here. Gonna go here, gonna go section, go ahead and go back into the app and just go ahead and copy and paste that into there. So let's go and let's see. And as you can see, our search bar is looking awesome. Last but not least, we need to start working on our portfolio. So I'm gonna start with the portfolio list and start working my way down. So what you wanna do is you want to go to the list portfolio right here, go into the section and then go into here. So we'll go into the list portfolio right here, go into the folder and we can just get rid of this whole entire thing right here. And that looks good. So let's go ahead, let's test it. Now the only thing that we need to do now is actually style this card, which is going to be very simple. So we'll go into back into our GitHub, go into our card portfolio right here, then go copy, go into the card portfolio folder, then go into here, and we can go ahead and we can copy all of that over. Next thing that we can do is we can actually start styling these buttons that we have. So we have buttons right here and we also have buttons right here. We can go ahead and style those. And the way that we do that is go into here. I'm going to go into the delete portfolio portion on the GitHub. So I'm going to go delete portfolio right here. Then I'm going to go into delete portfolio right here and go ahead and just switch this button now. So our button is looking good right there. Now let's go ahead and let's do the add down here. So I'm gonna go into my ad portfolio in the GitHub. I'm gonna go here, gonna go and copy and paste this. And I'm gonna go back to the ad portfolio, go down into the actual file, and then go ahead, delete this. And let's go ahead and see. And as you can see, our app is looking great. Next, we can start actually working on the router so that we can have a home page and we can actually start getting, uh, and we can actually start working on our company page as well too. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.